What's going on investors? My name is Dio. Welcome to Frankla Investments, where we talk about bio nanogenomic stock from Sunday to Sunday. Every day I post a new video. So today we are going to talk about HOT, the genomes of HOT. Before I continue, let me quickly give a shout out to MOM, Messenger of Moist Fire. That guy is amazing whenever it comes to due diligence. Let's get to it. June 30, 2020. PepsiCo and Corteva AgriScience announced the sequencing of the oat genome. But you guys know that whenever it comes to genomes, I mean, short read and long read sequencing alone is not sufficient to construct a contiguous and accurate assembly. Next generation sequencing technologies are essential for nucleotide level information but are limited beyond that resolution as the fragmented reads are too short to retain the contiguity needed to make a complete map and overcome repetitive regions within the within and between genes so so let's dive straight into the project and how this affects bio nanogenomics because you guys are probably investors in this company and perhaps also invested in pacific biosciences of california so the title of this first article says pepsico ot3098 exploit oat genome assembly and annotation release in collaboration with green genes so this is the updated version, but we are not going to read this now. We will read this in the second page. But let's take a look at the first version and see what happened in 2020. So, on uh, July 7, 2020, version 2 of the OT3093 OT reference assembly is currently underway. This new version will include gap filing and filling as well as reorientation slash flipping of some chromosomes in novel blah, 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 blah. So here it is, guys. PepsiCo and Corteva AgriScience are announcing the first ever sequencing of the full oat genome for use in open, app, open source applications. This work can completed. This work was completed in just four months thanks to a collaborative effort between academia, government, and the private sector, and will advance the resiliency of at-risk food system while leading to healthier oat varieties with improved sustainability, taste, and nutrition. It's part of PepsiCo's broader effort to use her scale and reach to help build a more sustainable food system, one that can provide nutrition and enjoyment and drive economic growth and social development while protecting and restoring the planet. You can read more about that work in our recently released 2019 sustainability report. So, not to talk too much the purpose of this project i'm going to read it to you guys pesico and coteva are publicly releasing the genome to continue to advance oat research in addition the release of the oat genome is aimed at spurring uh, agronomic innovations globally that can improve the resiliency of the food system in the following ways sustainability nutrition and taste sustainability breeding or better yield could produce more resilience very um varieties with improved disease resistance and guard against loss in the field create longer root systems and healthier soils that seek, uh, sequester carbon and reduce water runoff and reduce the amount of land and other resources needed to grow oats nutrition oats grains are already rich in fiber and essential nutrients understanding a full oats genome improves the ability to target these qualities, ultimately benefiting consumers looking to elevated nutrition profiles from their oat. Taste. The nutritional, the nutritional value of oats is well documented and encouraging its consumption by potentially creating more uh, flavorful varieties helps expand its appeal. So, Primary project contributors include Corteva, applying its advanced sequencing technology and analytic capabilities, the University of North Carolina, uh, Charlotte, providing crucial sequence data and learning, and Crop Development Center at the University Saskatchewan, providing the oat variety. The data is being hosted on the USDA Agricultural Research Services Green Genes website at blah, blah, blah. Let's go to the next page where they spoke about, you know, how they do it, how they, you know, map the genome, how they sequence the genome and so on and so forth.
So this, this PDF file was released in 2020, but the next page, I am going to show you guys the updated version where they spoke about bio-nanogenomics. So this is where it all started. The title says assembly and annotation of the exaploid oat genome. Okay. They spoke about, you know, how they are going to achieve this, the kind of technology they are going to use on um, the, or, you know, the, all these technical terms and stuff, you know, that scientists use, you know, to, um, uh, analyze or explain or you know describe what a host genome is or whatever so here is one important part and interesting part they said however genomic resources in oat the seventh most cultivated cereal crop worldwide have lagged behind the other grains thus there is a critical need to expand the development of genomic resources in oat to include a functional genome assembly the overall objective of this project is to utilize high throughput sequencing strategies uh, optical mapping and deployed resources to facilitate the assembly and annotation of a functional exaploid oat so uh avena sativa i think that is the scientific word for uh, exaploid oat avena sativa genome sequence so uh they go on and on they spoke about you know the base pair 12,000 base pair pre pre uh, preliminary data sequencing this is the first thing they used using the pack rs uh two machines and um you know they spoke about illumina they use illumina also the isec 2000 this is the old illumina device and this also old pack bio device because right now illumina is using the nova 6000 i believe so um they continue so here there is nothing about bio nanogenomics here they basically just use you know the pack bio and the illumina but on the updated version in 2021 uh, at the beginning of april last month they used they released this uh, new findings this new publication and bio nanogenomics was on board let me show you guys So this is the version two of the project. Okay, you can easily see it here. PepsiCo OT3098 Exaploid Oat version two genome assembly and um annotation release in collaboration with Grain Genes. So it continues. It says the version one contig assembly was built from 35x pack bio iFi, and um this is the um the settings of the device using the high kernel assembler which resulted in 1890 contigs with a contig n50 equal to equals to 30.3 mb and the total assembly size of 10.97 gigabyte okay gb the contigs were um, then scaffolded with bio nanogenome uh, bio nanogenomics maps the, i don't know why they wrote the genome here and this is the setting here with a total length of 11.2 gigabytes, okay, GB, on the BioNano Access Platform to create hybrid scaffolds and, of course, another setting with a length of 10.84 GB. Hybrid scaffolds were uh, tentatively placed into piso, uh, piso molecules using oat consensus markers. The final ordering of scaffolds was refined using HIC data and contact map visualization using juice box and the juicer tools so the version to release is based on an improved contig assembly using the same pack bio ifi data set but the ifi ifi assembler the v2 assembly exhibited a significant improvement in contiguity and um this assembly was similarly scaffolded with the same bio nano maps as version one however the improved contig significantly improved the contiguity of the scaffolds as well um the version 2 assembly was manually curated to resolve overlapping contigs that were not addressed during bio nano hybrid scar so they just forget all these things are technical things okay so in a nutshell what i believe they did is you know in the second version they introduced bio nanogenomic sapphire device and um they were able to get more data out of it okay they were able to understand more about the genomes of the oat of course when you talk about structural variances and stuff you have to use optical genome mapping so this is not you know rocket science or rocket engineering so they continue with the chromosomes you know the version one were oriented such as the uh that the short arm was on top blah 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 
Uh, and below are the names and lengths of chromosomes in V1 and V2. Chromosomes highlighted in bold were swapped between V1 and V2. Please see the attached. So the, all these things are for researchers, okay? I mean, if you are a retail investor, you don't need to know all these things. Believe me, you don't. I mean, we don't need it. So, and it continues. Official release of data. PepsiCo is currently working to annotate a set of PacBio transcripts. After annotation is complete, researchers will be able to access this data as a track on the genome browser. Additional files including a GFF ORF nucleotide faster and ORF translated peptide faster will also be available via the blah 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 blah. So um, yeah. So that is it, guys. I mean, these guys. Um, PepsiCo and um, so this is PepsiCo and Green Jeans, but from the beginning it was PepsiCo and Corteva AgriScience. I don't know if Green Jeans, you know, later acquired Corteva AgriScience. I don't know. I haven't researched that. So the second version is with um, Green Jeans, and um, they used Bionic Genomics Sapphire guys, and they are using it. You know, I mean, this is my first video in terms of agriculture. This is my very first video discussing. How the sapphire device is being used by agricultural scientists you know for researches for uh, genome researches to check genes structural variations that may be wrong you know so that they can know how to breed most of all these uh, plants you know grains and so on and so forth so that is all uh, about this topic guys if you have any question or if you have uh, anything to add please use the comment section below let me know what you're thinking about this development this is an example of how the Sapphire device is being used by researchers, you know, and um, because a lot of people ask me, Dio, what exactly is Sapphire? I mean, can you give us an example of uh, a research laboratory using the Sapphire device? So this is a perfect example. And you guys know that PepsiCo is a huge company, okay? I mean, this is a very big company. So yeah, that is it, guys. Any question, leave it below. And if you watch this video from beginning to the end, thank you very much for supporting me. I mean, it's not excuse me it's not easy to make video every day guys i mean i have to bring you guys juicy juicy news every day somebody asked me that how do you do it you post a video on bngo every day i mean it's just passion you just have to have passion for this i love what i do i this is a very interesting topic to me right now so i don't even watch netflix or whatever i just anytime i find something to share with you guys i always feel super pumped and uh, super excited to go through it and make a video on it and share it with you guys so thank you for all your support please support the channel help your boy grow it is not easy guys support you can become a member of this channel you know try and become a member now i have you know few members and um it's really helpful every month you know recurring payments it's really really helpful guys help your boy support the project and have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you guys tomorrow, Sunday, on the Sunday episode of Bionic Genomics Podcast. Bye-bye.